I think an interesting starting point is the experience of East Asian countries, which uh, some of which are mineral rich, like Malaysia uh, or Indonesia. Some of them not mineral rich, such as Korea, Taiwan, even China is not necessarily a mineral rich country. But each of these countries uh, at uh, various junctures decided that the way forward to growth was through industrialization. And this industrialization was parallel with fairly rapid urbanization. So there was a fairly uh, tight connection between the pace of industrial development in these countries and the pace of urbanization. So, you know, and much of this industrialization, as you can imagine, uh, occurred in the, in the urban areas, but not exclusively. And this is the unusual story of China, where a huge amount of the earlier industrial development, a lot of it export-oriented, occurred in the rural areas. And actually through the 80s and through the early 90s, much of the export from China was by rural enterprises that had been uh, that had been able to attract uh, foreign direct investment largely from Hong Kong and from Taiwan and elsewhere. So uh, that's how they got started and I think the interesting part of the story is how they have been able to move from very light industries, you know, the usual stuff, uh, toys, footwear, garments, uh, furniture, some metal type of products, and they've been able to move very rapidly to uh, much more high-tech uh, uh, products with much greater value added. And in the process, uh, they have been able to generate the sort of surpluses and increase the levels of savings and investment, which has made it possible for them to not only deepen their uh, industrial system, but at the same time build their urban infrastructure. Uh, so what is so striking about these countries, and I've been visiting them since the mid-70s, is that almost every five years there is a substantial change which you see both in the industrial composition in their exports, and most spectacularly in the quality of their uh, infrastructure, not just the urban infrastructure, but the transport infrastructure, other infrastructures as well. What you also notice, particularly in the case of China, is intense pollution. <laughs> so uh, not everything which has happened in the context of industrialization has been great. Uh, some of it has been uh, not so uh, attractive. But nevertheless, uh, you see improvements in standards of living. Uh, you see great increases in uh, you know, things like living accommodation, services, and so on. Uh, you find that the average household has acquired a huge suite of assets of various sorts. And uh, you find a, a level of confidence uh, which was not present a long time ago.